Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. Today we're going to talk about all the confirmed changes so far that we know about the creation suite. My favorite thing to do in wrestling games is to make my own characters. Uh, every year I make about, I want to say 20 to 50? I mean, it depends on how creative I'm feeling and how much I like the game. All right, so let's get right into this. So based off of all the information we know so far, they're going to include <clears throat> create a referee. So basically, I don't. it doesn't say if it's going to take up like your creative character slots, and that we don't know how many slots we have yet. So in the last couple games, it was, it was 100. You get 100 character slots and 1,000 uh, images that you can upload and use from community creations or from uploading it yourself. So we don't know if Create a Referee will take up those slots. What I hope is that Create a Referee has its own allocation of slots. So let's say, I mean, I, I doubt you're going to make more than 10 referees, right? So let's say you have however many uh, slots for your normal wrestlers. So let's say it's 100 again. And then let's say you have an extra 10, 15 for referees. Again, I don't think people are going to make that many referees. So I feel like 10 is plenty to me anyway and now a new exciting feature is create a sign now that'll be super fun for those of us that actually create our own content like I make all original wrestlers I, I download a couple like maybe a different ultimate warrior or a macho man stuff like that but for the most part I just create 50 original wrestlers almost in every game they all have a backstory it's kind of like my own fighting game that way I, I love doing it so this would allow me to come up with logos and designs for all of them for their personal signs. That to me sounds awesome. I can even use it for advertising just for my channel in the game. While I'm playing the game, I'll have my logo and stuff like that. I really hope that people don't abuse this because I feel like they'll take the mode out. Oh, who am I kidding? Everybody's going to abuse this. There's going to be a rack on there. There's going to be some man stuff on there there's gonna be all sorts of stuff on there you'll, you'll see you'll see hopefully there's a way to detect that automatically since they're using ai this year i'm gonna have i'm gonna go on a limb and guess that they just have that figured out anyway so create a sign is really cool can't wait to see that and then it also goes on to say we have new creation parts now back in the ukes days every game that would come out every single year from 2K15 all the way up to 20, they hardly ever would add or any, do anything with the creation parts. It was always the same parts, and it's part of the reason why I fell off the franchise. Uh, I didn't really come back until, like I said in a previous video, 2K20, when they started adding in new creation parts, because it's like, oh, cool, I can finally make something different. Because when you make 50 characters, you start end up using the same parts again. In fact, Ukes took out a bunch of stuff. Like, when it when 2K15 came out, they gutted the game. And it took, what, up till now, I'm going to say, to hopefully get all those parts back in, some new parts. Um, I, I can't wait to see what the new parts are. That's my favorite thing. Stick around on this channel. Subscribe if you want an complete, super detailed, what everything, everything that's in going to be in Creation Suite, I'm going to live stream when the game comes out. If you want to watch other modes, check out the other guys from off the top. But for me, I'm just going to be live streaming the Creation Suite all day that day. All right, so then it goes on to say there is new, uh, new parts and animations to design custom superstars. I'm curious what the animations are. Like, is that like, uh, like a fighting stance? It doesn't really go into detail here, so we're, we're bound to speculate. And then it says, uh, let's see here, GMs. So I wonder if that means you can create GMs. That sounds cool. So it looks like, let's read this. Let's read this real quick. It says the most detailed and robust creation suite, suite returns with all new support for create a referee, create a sign, as well as new parts and animations to design custom superstars, GM. So you can make a GM. Hopefully, like I said with the referees, it has its own spot so it doesn't take up our main character spots. Let's see where am I? arenas, entrances, movesets, championships, and more. 
So I wonder what the and more is. I mean, is there going to be create a finisher? I'm pretty sure they would have listed that if it was in here, but they might be saving it for a surprise. We don't know yet. Or create a story. But it sounds like we're getting some new animations. I'm guessing the animations are going to be for the entrances. And then move sets, obviously, they always give us new moves, even though there's like over a thousand already. Uh, championships, so on and so forth. So over on Russell Zone, they did an interview with Brian Williams and Lionel Jinx, the two main guys behind every uh, 2K game the last couple of years. And the one thing I'm going to point out here that they mentioned in Create a Wrestler specifically, because that's what this video is based on, is to create a wrestler in Creation Suite, is that in old games, when you're creating your wrestler, sometimes you'll hit O to go back, and, and you'll be in the thick of creating your character and you accidentally hit back to the main menu without saving. That's actually happened to me a few times. Uh, in 2K20, I spent about two and a half hours making my main Strizer character because I went through every single option and the game crashed. So I was so mad because I had to go back through and redo everything. Luckily, I knew where everything was at. I knew what I wanted. So it didn't take very long because I went through everything. But the fact that I had to start completely over from scratch was annoying. So a cool little feature that they're adding this year is a quick save option. So if you're designing your wrestler and you get, you get something perfect, it'll be a little icon while in the creation menu that says like save now. So it'll save your progress right there, like a quick save. And then when you're going to the next section, because if you guys have created your wrestlers in these games, it's all broken up into sections. And some sections you could take a long time. Let's say you're working on that face, trying to get the face perfect. You're going to want to save your progress because sometimes you might not be able to get that perfect look again without using that face technology that you use on your phone and then you import it, you place it over. It's a whole thing. Some people could figure it out real quick. Uh, I had trouble trying to figure that out. A buddy of mine helped me, but I usually just use the in-game face tweaker. That's how I make my faces. Sometimes. I don't even touch the faces, I just put face paint on them because the face part, I, uh, I just don't like having to mess with that. <laughs> anyway, so that's such a cool feature. I can't believe it took them this long to implement that. The fact that you can just do a little quick save, your progress is saved, so if anything happens, you can go right back to it. Or if you need to leave right away, you can go right back to it. I just think that's a cool feature, and like I said, I don't know why it was implemented earlier. All right, so that's all we know so far. Stay tuned to the channel. Any Creation Suite stuff, I'm your guy. That's my favorite mode. Uh, thank you for watching. What are some creation improvements that you would like to see added? Sound off in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and stay frosted.